Welcome back to AG Chelsea TV, join us to find out the latest news about Chelsea in the past 24 hours. Please subscribe and turn on notifications to not miss daily news about Chelsea and we'll start right now. Enzo Maresca hints at Ben Chilwell U-turn after suggesting defender should leave, the Blues head coach publicly suggested the England international may be better served finding a new club over the course of the summer, with Mark Cucurella and Renato Vega preferred at left-back in his system. Chilwell spent part of the summer training away from the first-team squad at the club's Cobham base, but a move away did not materialise, despite links with Turkish clubs. Moresca then brought the 27-year-old back into the fold for the 5-0 Carabao Cup victory over Barrow on Tuesday night, after including him in Chelsea's 25-man squad for Premier League competition, when asked about potentially turning to the former Leicester defender during the season. Moresca said, yes, in the moment we need him, why not? I said already many times, and I will say again that, as long as Chile is with us, he is a Chelsea player, and if we need him, we give him a chance and minutes. Pressed further on whether he regrets telling Chilwell to find a new club, the Italian added, we all make mistakes. Probably yes, probably no. I am here to take decisions. Sometimes they are good decisions, and sometimes they are not good. Chelsea stance on £18 million star emerges, Chelsea are delighted by the progress being made by young loanee Andre Santos and belief he could become a first-team regular in the future, sources have told Give Me Sport. The Brazil youngster, who has captained his country at youth level, is someone that Chelsea have high hopes for in the future and Santos is determined to prove that he can be part of the project at Stamford Bridge. According to Give Me Sport sources, Santos has been watching Chelsea, matches closely while away from the club to ensure that he totally understands the system and what would be expected of him in an Enzo Maresca midfield. Currently the Italian has midfield options of Romeo Lavia, Moises Caicedo, Enzo Fernandez, Kinan Dewsbury Hall, Cesare Casadei and Carni Chukwamika to choose from, which has left questions about where a player like Santos could fit in. However, Chelsea insiders think he has the right traits to work in the team as they move forward and say there is no plan at the moment to dip into the transfer market for midfielders, after selling Conor Gallagher at the end of the summer window to Atletico Madrid. Chelsea keeping tabs on Victor Boniface, despite another busy summer transfer window that saw the additions of Jadon Sancho, Joao Felix and Pedro Neto in attacking areas, Chelsea are still keen to add a centre-forward to the squad according to reports, the Blues were keen on Nigeria hitman Victor Ozerman until the last minute but couldn't find a deal, and the Napoli star eventually joined Galatasaray on loan for the rest of the season when a move to Al Ali in Saudi Arabia collapsed when they signed Ivan Toni instead. While a return for Osman hasn't been entirely ruled out, Stamford Bridge scouts are looking at potential other targets and have identified Bayer Leverkusen star Victor Boniface as a potential option to bolster the number 9 position despite the current form of Nicholas Jackson and Christopher Kunku. The Senegal star has turned in excellent performances this season, including netting a brace in the win over West Ham, while Nkunku has already scored six times this season including a hat-trick in the 5-0 win over Barrow in midweek and the winner against Bournemouth in the Premier League. Mikhailo Mudrik makes Chelsea transfer decision, Mikhailo Mudrik could push for a move away from Chelsea to reignite his career, sources have told Football Insider. The Premier League giants are now open to letting him leave in the January transfer window after he has fallen down the pecking order at Stamford Bridge. The signing of Jadon Sancho has led to limited game time for the Ukraine international, as the former Man United star has been pushed into the starting lineup. Mudrik has struggled to find his footing in England since he joined the club in 2023 from Shakhtar Donetsk. The Blue signed the winger on a seven-year contract, with his deal not expiring until 2031. Mudrik has had limited game time for the Blues this season, having only played 61 minutes in the opening five Premier League matches. The winger has produced two assists this season for the club, one against Servette in the Conference League qualifying match and the other against Barrow in the EFL Cup. Mudrik made 41 appearances in all competitions last season for Chelsea, scoring seven goals and providing two assists. Enzo Marseca's side currently sits fifth in the Premier League table after a strong start to the season. The Blues will be back in action on Saturday, the 28th of September, against Brighton. 
Chelsea and ongoing contact for outrageous Aston Villa star, Chelsea have maintained their interest in Aston Villa striker John Duran and are keeping in contact with the Colombian's representatives after his stellar start to the season, journalist Fabrizio Romano has reported. The Blues remain keen on bolstering their attacking options with the inform Colombian, who kicked off his Premier League campaign in style, netting for goals in five appearances off the bench. Romano, writing in his daily briefing, revealed that Chelsea still hold an interest in Duran after his stellar start to the 2024-25 campaign and are maintaining contact with his camp ahead of a potential 2025 move. There have been some rumours of Barcelona chasing John Duran in the last 24 hours, but let me say that Barca, at this moment, have not been active in negotiations for any striker. John Duran was really close to joining West Ham in the window as we know, but the deal collapsed after more than five bids were presented by West Ham to Aston Villa. There are now rumours that several clubs are interested in John Duran and I can confirm that Chelsea really tried to sign him too. Chelsea rate the player and still like the player at this moment. Contacts are ongoing, but it's not something that we can definitely update now. Sells Benorar Bajishail at half price, a few members of Enzo Maresca's squad have been linked with Stamford Bridge exits at the turn of the year, as onlookers now begin to get an idea of the players destined for bit part roles and those who will be central to the club's plans, as per Inter Live, Chelsea could decide to sell Bajishail for half his initial price. With Inter Milan considering a move for the 23-year-old who Burley and Co signed from Monaco for £35 million in January last year. The France international has played 36 games across all competitions for Chelsea in total, even scoring two goals in that time, but that hasn't been enough for Maresca to deem him untouchable. I think he was prepared for this two years ago, said former AS Monaco assistant coach Joao Trollhau to Sky Sports when Bajishal first joined Chelsea, playing in such a demanding league, probably the best in the world, you need quality and experience. He has that and he will be one of the most important players at Chelsea in the coming years. He is going to one of the world's biggest clubs and a defender there needs certain qualities. But Bajishail is excellent. He is very strong in the air and in the duels. He can read the game because he is intelligent. He is a very good defender on the floor and in the air. I do not have any doubts that he will succeed in the Premier League. Arsenal Chelsea scouting Hoffenheim's 18-year-old striker, the Germany U19 international has emerged as the Bundesliga's newest duel this season with scintillating performances for Pellegrino Matarazzo's side. He has featured in for first-team matches across all competitions and capped his Europa League debut with a stunning goal in Hoffenheim's 1-1 draw against Danish Superliga side FC Midtjylland. His performances have piqued the interest of a host of clubs in the Premier League, with TBR Football reporting that Arsenal and Chelsea had their scouts present at the MCH Arena to watch Morstedt against Midtjylland. The report suggests that the London Giants will continue to monitor the young. Forward ahead of making a possible move to sign him next year. However, while Arsenal and Chelsea had representatives in Denmark to watch the youngster, the report adds that the likes of Manchester United, Liverpool, Tottenham and West Ham have also monitored the centre-forward in the last 12 months, so there will be plenty of competition for his signature, with a contract that runs until 2027 and numerous top Premier League clubs showing an interest in Morstedt. Hoffenheim will no doubt want a lot more than his €1 million Euros transfer mark valuation. Chelsea's new president set to transform club. Earlier this month, Chelsea FC announced a significant change in their corporate hierarchy, promoting Jason Gannon from Chief Operating Officer to President Chief Operating Officer. This move signals a deeper intent within the club's strategy, particularly regarding the future of Stamford Bridge. As Simon Johnson of The Athletic puts it, Gannon's presence and growing influence at Chelsea is significant. This development reflects a shifting focus from the pitch to the infrastructural ambitions of the club, hinting at large-scale transformations that could redefine Chelsea's home ground and its legacy. Gannon's track record as managing director at Sophie Stadium is particularly noteworthy. His involvement in developing the Sophie Stadium, host to NFL giants like the LA Rams and LA Chargers, showcases his capability to oversee massive projects. Johnson notes, Gannon's experience as managing director behind the development of the much-respected Sophie Stadium. is a major reason why he was targeted by the Todd Berthler Clear Lake Consortium. His expertise is seen as a crucial asset in Chelsea's plans, possibly hinting at an ambitious stadium project that could rival the architectural marvel that is the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Gannon's approach to his role at Chelsea contrasts sharply with his predecessor, highlighting a commitment to fostering a positive relationship with the fan base. 
his proactive engagement with Chelsea pitch owners and the Chelsea supporters' trust has been well received as per Johnson's article, suggesting a leadership style that values transparency and supporter relations. His people-focused approach and efforts to make genuine connections with fans could be instrumental in navigating the club through the potentially turbulent times of stadium redevelopment and corporate restructuring. With Gannon at the helm of the management committee, Chelsea seem poised to tackle both immediate needs and long-term goals. His agenda includes not only the possible redevelopment of Stamford Bridge, but also enhancements to Chelsea's training facilities at Cobham. This holistic view towards improving club infrastructure while maintaining an active dialogue with supporters and stakeholders might be exactly what Chelsea needs to secure its future both on and off the field. And that's the final content of today's video, like subscribe to support AG Chelsea TV.